Hi, and welcome to the Department of Chemical and Materials Engineering at the University of Alberta. I am Vinay Prasad, the Department Chair, and I'd like to introduce you to the Department and to the disciplines that under uh, that underline it. Uh, first off, let's talk about Chemical and Materials Engineering. Uh, chemical Engineering really deals with processes. You take a, a material that maybe a chemist uh, has developed that ha has some use to society and then it's the chemical engineers who actually take that to fruition from the lab scale all the way to the industrial scale. This involves a variety of uh, concepts, uh, heat transfer, mass transfer, transport phenomena, reactions of course, but also process control and safety and risk management. And eventually you all put it, uh, you put it all together uh, in designs. On the material side, the paradigm is of uh, processing, structure, properties, and performance. Uh, and so this again is about the, the properties of materials, how you get them to have those properties, and what performance you get from them. Chemical and materials engineering have had a role to play, an important role in uh, human development for a long period of time, and this is going to continue into the future. In fact, I'd like to argue that their importance has never been as great as now and into the future. Uh, they're both at the heart of the energy transitions, the responsible energy transitions that we need to go to a sustainable future. Uh, uh, for example, making of green uh, chemicals and, and sustainable uh, energy sources involves both chemical and materials aspects. Our programs reflect these two. At the undergrad uh, uh, level, we are in the process of introducing new programs related to sustainable process systems directed at energy applications. Our materials programs are uh, future facing too. In addition to the traditional chemical and materials engineering uh, programs, we plan to have specializations in sustainable energy systems and bioprocessing and all of our undergraduate programs look to leverage uh, the power of uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning uh, applied as data analytics uh, to further the education of our students. Our research is also focused very much uh, towards uh, the future. We've had a history of uh, ma responsibly managing energy transitions that that has been one of the hallmarks of the research in our uh, department and that is to, uh, that continues in the f uh, in the future we have strengths in research in process control and systems engineering colloids and interfacial science uh, thermodynamics um, reaction engineering and catalysis uh, to name a few this is not an exhaustive list uh, on the material side, we have uh, strengths in traditional metallurgy, but also in nanomaterials, biomaterials, computational modeling, uh, and many other uh, uh, research areas. These areas find application in, in very important areas. Obviously, in energy systems, both in the development of new materials, their characterization, their production, uh, uh, the assessment of safety, but also developing new catalysts, uh, new separation techniques, for example, carbon capture, energy from renewables, um, cryopreservation, uh, biomanufacturing has applications uh, for uh, uh, drug production, but also vaccines uh, potentially. Uh, so we have, again, a wide variety of uh, research areas in which we have strength and in which we continue to build for the future. I hope I've made the case that this is a, a dynamic uh, and future-facing uh, department and I invite you to join us in our journey. Thank you.